Hello, hi, welcome back. I'm Steve, Beats and Bombs. Uh, so I've now gone through the collection. Uh, so I've now separated what I want and now what I don't want. So I have two big crates here, absolutely full up of stuff that I want and stuff over there that I don't want. It's gonna go on to like a, uh, a Facebook selling page or the house selling page. So I've got a nice big pile here. So now the process begins cleaning. So for example, I have this album here, you know, a dance album. The sleeve is a bit, but I just need to be very careful because obviously it's full of, so this is not too, actually too bad. Very dusty, but that's a nice record there on the cleaner. It's a very nice record, both of them. So, same as any other record. Get rid of them. Keep the sleeve. The main outer sleeve, obviously I keep, but any inners, we're gonna go. The seduction. Get rid of that, I need that. So I've done a, a before video of how it's gonna sound. It's just, even I can see at the bottom of each sleeve, it's just full of grit, the grime. But if, if it weren't for that, it would have dust and grime, it's actually quite clean. There's no scratches. We got away here. Who's the bad man? So yeah, it's just loads of it. So get rid of them. That's got a few airlines on it. That one. And we've got on there one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So let's get it on. It goes on there like that. It goes on there like that. So I've got the waterline just touching the label. Normally I only give it five minutes, but these are quite bad. So I'm gonna do these 10 minutes in one of these. Here he goes. In the cleaner, I don't know if you can see that or not. We'll give them 10 minutes. Okay, so now I've had my first round of records come out. I'm just gonna go through to my second stage. I have a United Dance album here. I mean, this, wow. So it's come out of the cleaner. It's had time to dry. As always, a nice microfiber cloth, nice and clean. Give it a clean. This is absolutely stunning, this record. There's a little mark there, but the, the other ones, I don't think the other one's been played. There's a couple of little marks there, I'll have to try and get off in a bit. But, absolutely stunning. Shiny, looks new. Practically looks new. That is near mint. Nice and straight, as always. Nice new sleeve. Chop that in there. That's as we go. And then the outer sleeve, sadly, is a bit, a bit battered. But what I do is. Make sure there's no shit in there, basically. Okay, so this is that baffle we was using earlier on. So it's been through the cleaner. Wow. So it's got writing on the label. Uh, I hate writing on the label. So I've got writing on that, okay. So, we'll try and get it off. 
So I have a special cloth here, which is, as you can see, it's purely just getting writing off label. I hate writing on label, hate it. So what I do is I just use the uh, biothanol, which is the same stuff that's in there. Give it a spray on there. Just give it a minute to settle in. Right, so it's not coming off for that. Okay, that's fine. So it's in there a bit too much. Right, so then what I'll do is I've got something else I'll do. Get rid of that. So let's give that a, a wipe over. As I do, to get rid of all the fingerprints, any grease, any marks. Right, so let's get that writing off that label. Hate writing on the label. So another way I've found is I get the old uh, makeup things what i like to use is nail polish remover but you've got to use acetone free don't make the mistake of using stuff that's got acetone in it i didn't know that i didn't realize that i didn't look into it you want to you want to ruin a record use uh use nail cleaner with acetone in it you'll ruin the record right so here we go Marks. Oh, it's a bit, the label's a bit wet at the moment. So, oh, oh, don't chuck it, Stephen. So now, look at that, look. Nice clean labels. And you won't be able to tell that, I mean, that itself, from what it was, that's near mint now. There's not a mark on that record. Not a mark on it. So you wouldn't be able to tell that that's been stuck in the garage. Now, why do I do it? It's quite simple, really. This baffled record, okay, ranges from £10 to 80 quid. Okay, so there's a bit of a difference there. So... If I was going to sell this straight out of the box like I did, I'd be lucky to get a tenner on it. All that crackling, all that popping, all that how it looks bad. So now I've got near, and, and pretty much near mint record here that I can whack up for 70 quid. There you go, 10 quid, 70 quid. Absolutely stunning. That's why I do this. It's no hardship. Just giving it a clean. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and play it. 